So, ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, back with the racing action here at Karting Genk. It's the uh, next part of the BNL Karting Series, uh, day number two for 2019. Junior Max, it's qualifying group B and C. Chris Harnan and Danny Van Dyke on the front row. Uh, behind them is Max Stemmerink and Lucas Schoenmakers on row number two. Tom Reinhardt and Dan Ginchard, who I spoke to briefly on the uh, starting grid before that was cleared. Uh, the pre-grid. Uh, Will Jenkins and Tom Adams with Oscar Christensen and Zen Rudenberg complete the top 10 ahead of Bart De Witt. You've also got Rasmus Vendelbo, uh, Pratik Snolz Lokmelis, Callum Boisin, uh, Mylan Coppens, uh, Christian De Klein. Uh, you've also got Alexander Abskava in 17th ahead of Yaroslav Zimashka, Bruno Mulders completing the top 20. And then you've also got uh, the likes of Sam Bergstein, Daniel Sorankov, Sam Samuel Stendis, Valentin Klus, Dan Zopfi, Daniel Hunt, and Summer Webb. We're broadcasting live via the Circuit PA on the video live stream and now on uh, the Downforce Radio Network. So 26 competitors set to go into battle. Uh, right now. Uh, again, it will be seven minutes plus an additional lap. For those at the paddock, if you do want to grab your, go to the info unit, uh, Patsy Peters has brought some lovely cakes, which I've just had a slice of one of, on one of, and um, it is first come, first served, so get them whilst they're hot, because they will be going out very, very soon. So, uh, but whilst I stop talking about cake, I've got to concentrate on the racing action here at Karting Genk. So top 10, it's Harnan from Van Dyke, Stemmerdink, Schoenmakers, Heinertz, Ginchard, Jenkins, Adam, Christensen, and Rudenberg rounding out the top 10. Seven minutes plus a lap here at the 1,360 meter facility. We have had a clean sweep of full four clean starts. Will we have number five this time around? Seven minutes on the clock, red lights on the gantry. Do we go cleanly away this time? Yes, we do. It's five out of five heading down into turn one. So Harnan in pole has got the whole shot. Looks like uh, Van Dyke's being left to hang out to dry. He's now down into third. There's a little clash, I think, with Tom Heinitz now, who's charged his way up into third position. A little clash between the pair going through turn three. And with them has gone the number 230 of Will Jenkins, who's just been overtaken by not just Danny Van Dyke, but that's the 262 of Oscar Christiansen from Denmark with Iris Competition. A little bit of squirming under the brakes from Dan Ginchard heading into the approach onto turn number seven. So Ginchard showing in around about eighth position by my count. Meanwhile, the top four starting to try and break away and it is being led still at the moment by Pol's, uh, the pole man, Chris Harnan. And uh, at the meantime, Tom Reinitz has got past Max Stemmerdink. Uh, for second position. So nice work by the 237. Fourth is Danny Van Dyke, Oscar Christensen, and then Will Jenkins round out the top five. As we've got more uh, changes around the uh, bottom part of the top 10 heading into turn two. It's nearly two abreast, uh, round about sort of towards the tail end of the field. So Schoenmack has, uh, goes down a position into seventh and is ahead of the Brits, uh, Dan Ginchard. And cl who closes up on the back bumper of the Dutch driver going into turn number eight. And with Ginchard is, uh, looks to be Tom Adams, I believe. As Van Dijk is trying to steal a march on the driver in third, posi in, uh, third position, at, well, fourth position at the minute, which is the 230 of Will Jenkins from the United Kingdom. And uh, Sean Mackers has now lost out to Ginchard, who's up into seventh place as Harnan completes another lap, just over five minutes remaining in this uh, second qualifying heat. So Group B will have competed in two of the three heats as Danny Van Dyke bumps the curves on the runoff area heading out of turn two in front of Oscar Christensen, who's right on the back bumper. With them is Dan Ginchard from the UK. So that is the battle from fourth all the way down to seventh position. And there is a bit of a train a little bit further down the order. Other drivers that have made moves up the order. Dan Zotfi up into 18th place. 
Uh, Valentin Klus up to 22nd. Marlon Coppens up uh, behind Tom Adams. Uh, Coppens now in ninth. Adams in eighth position. And Adams is starting to close a little bit on Dan Ginchard as Tom Heinertz is threatening for the lead with four and a quarter minutes to go. He's getting a real good turn of momentum uh, behind Chris Harnan and uh, latches onto the back bumper, so to speak, going into turns one and two. But the 237 still has time to mount uh, that assault as uh, it's getting very spicy a little bit further behind as Ginchard is being passed up the inside by Oscar Christensen and is forced slightly wide and Ginchard's lost a further three places. Christensen drops two in the process but then Ginchard again recovers to take one place back putting him in effectively eighth place. So uh, Reinertz is still with Harnan as they exit turn number nine, down into the right-hander at turn 10. And with them is, well, Max Demedink uh, with CRG is uh, closing on them as well. The melee behind from fourth onwards is getting incredibly intense as the 217 of Tom Adams is going to try and make a move, and he does. That's a great job. I think he's just got past uh, Will Jenkins for position. As Reinert still threatening Harnan at the minute, as the pair go through turn number four into the next left-hander at turn five, before the right-hand hairpin at turn six. Now, for those, if we can get an angle shot, they're going to go past a estate car or get close to it, and they nearly overtake it, going down into turn seven, and it's three abreast! It's three abreast nearly, going into turn seven from fourth onwards. That's incredible control. Incredible control by the uh, Junior Max drivers. So at the minute, the running order, top 10, it's Harnan from Reinertz in close proximity, Stemmerdink in third, in fourth place at the moment it is, looks to be the 262 of Oscar Christensen, who's got the 203 going side by side, that's Lukas Schoenmakers, Christensen hung out to dry going through turn 12, he's going to lose out to Schoenmakers. And also the 217 of Tom Adams. Here comes the 244 of Milan Coppens. Dan Ginchard goes past the Dane as well. It's three abreast at turn three, nearly four wide. Ginchard forced to go on the runoff area at no fault of his own. Again, loses more places. It's three wide in turn four. Wow, that is incredible. These juniors are really putting on a show. It's getting close to contact. It's three abreast nearly about from, I would say, eighth maybe ninth position onwards but the three leaders breaking away Reinertz is still looming very large on the back bumper of Chris Harnan for the lead and whilst they're battling Max Stemmerdink in the 209 is still trying to uh, claw back some advantage Harnan was the quickest of the top three last time around who's it going to be this time oh no 207's gone wide that's Bruno Mulders Bruno Mulders, I think, has gone wide. So pushed wide was the Dutch driver. So just over 60 seconds to go. The lead is still undecided. It is still mano y mano between two Dutch drivers. It's a top four for the Netherlands at the minute with uh, Stemmenink in third. Schoenemakers at the last count was in fourth place. So the lead is coming through turn eight. 45 seconds on the clock and it's fast ticking down. In what's been an exciting and action-packed uh, second qualifying heat. So when the cro they cross the start-finish line, which will be round about 25 or so seconds to go. So Harnan continues to lead. Heinert still in second. Stemmerdink is closing the gap. And they cross it with 21 on the clock. Ginchard has dropped out of the top 10 now, uh, following the... Uh, Malay that was happening around sort of turns four and five. So leaders still now going through into turn six as the time expires now. Seven minutes are up. This is the penultimate lap. So Reinertz now has to make a decision. Does he stick in second or does he go for the win? Because Stemmerdink is now thinking, I have an opportunity. I might not get first but I could get second. 
So, Hahn and Lees, Reinertz, Stemmerdink, Schoenmakers, Coppens, Adams, Christensen, Decline, Van Dyke, and Vendelbo now complete the top 10. Ginchard all the way down in 14th behind Callum Voisin from the UK. As the leaders now get the final lap board. Reinertz, will he go for it or will he stick in second? What is Stemmerdink going to bring to the top three in terms of uh, explosive action? We go through turn four for the final time. It is line astern between... Chris Harnan, Tom Heinertz, and now Max Stemmerdink. Fourth is still Lucas Schoenmakers with Coppens looming large. Behind them, they've got Tom Adams for company in the 217. Leaders now coming through. The moves happened! The moves happened! Well done, Tom Reinertz. Timed it to perfection at turn seven and slingshotted past Chris Harnan to take the lead. They come through down towards turn 10. Could it be a drag race to the finish? Because it could be three wide. As Stemmerdink, well, Harnan gets a little bit sideways going through turn 11. That's allowed Stemmerdink to get a bit of a run on him, and he goes up the inside, or tries to. Who's going to get it on the line? Is it going to be Reinertz, Harnan, or Stemmerdink? No, Reinertz takes it. Reinertz takes it with an opportunistic last lap move at turn 7. The 237 from the Netherlands takes the win a little bit further down the order. Positions 4 down to 9 were closely contested. But when it was all said and done on the very last lap, it, I think it is his first um, Junior Max victory for Tom Heinertz from the Netherlands in the proud, sporting the proud colours of GKS Lemons Power. So the Dutch driver in the 237 takes the win by 0 0.058 seconds from Chris Harnan. Max Demerdink was there or thereabouts. About two tenths off uh, the leading duo as they cross the line. Lucas Schoenmakers makes it a clean sweep for Holland in the top four. The next nationality is Belgian, thanks to Milan Coppens. Tom Adams, Oscar Christensen round out another couple of nationalities in the top seven, representing the UK and uh, Denmark, with Danny van Dijk, Christian de Klein and Rasmus van der Boel rounding out the top ten. Zen Rudenberg, 11th, head of Callum Voisin, Bart de Witt, Dan Ginchard ended up 14th. Uh, as a result of all the mayhem that was going on around him uh, with Valentin Klus in 15.